Hello world, welcome back. Currently we are going to look at lesson 4 of second module and this lesson covers virtual machine extensions. If you look at the overview of this lesson, we will look at what is virtual machine extension and we will look at major two types of extension called custom script extension and desired state configuration and we will see a demo of DSE extension. So why do we need extensions? Whenever we deploy an application, let's say we deploy a virtual machine, there might be some task which need to do after the deployment. So we use some of the small applications which provides those post deployment task either it be some configuration or add some automation we'll use some small applications and that is what we call test extensions there are variety of extensions available say for example uh, if we deploy a windows vm installation of antivirus is one of the tasks which needs to be done and it can be done by one of the extension as well and others might be setting up some of the configuration of web server that is one of the extension as well and this can be normally done by either Azure CLI or PowerShell or resource manager templates or even from the Azure portal and we can either combine this extension with VM creation or even we can run it separately after the VM is created. And finally, there are like different type of extensions for Windows and Linux. Some may be based on scripts and some may be based on installation of uh, servers, which, which might be either Windows based or Linux based. There are two major type of extension which we use. One is what we call custom script extension and other is PowerShell desired state configuration. If you look at custom script extension, this helps in execution of some of the scripts in the post deployment task. And we normally have 90 minutes for an extension to run after the resource creation. And if this configuration is missing, it will go ahead and run the extension within 90 minutes. Whenever we are running some scripts as a part of custom script extension, there may be other dependencies inside the scripts and this needs to be checked beforehand. Say for example, whenever we are trying to install a web server in Linux, there might be some dependency for OpenSSL which might not have been factored inside the script. In that case, it might fail. So we need to make sure that right packages has been installed before executing the custom script so as to ensure that all the dependencies are already there when we are triggering the extension. And whenever there is an error in extension, we should define uh, the path in which uh, the failure uh, is recovered. Say for example, whenever we are running the extension and it throws some error, we should not leave the system in uh, a dangling state. We should uh, handle the errors gracefully and we should exit the script. And some of the script which we need to write must be auto healing as well. And some of the configuration setup using extension might have some of the sensitive information like passwords and those needs to be encrypted appropriately instead of hard coding in the scripts. As I mentioned earlier, we can use either PowerShell or CLI or even Azure portal or ARM template as well. And in PowerShell, 
we use set az vm custom script extension command to run custom script extension on the vm and next is what we called desired state configuration extension and this is a declarative way of specifying the end state of the virtual machine and if you look at the code snippet the slide it is the code which specifies i need to install an ias web server on the vm so that's why we mention like uh, ensure equal to present name equal to web server and windows feature is called ias the structure of the dsc configuration is that we will have a configuration block which have some name which we need to install and this name can be anything and next block is what we call node and this is the vm in which we are going to target we can use localhost to run the script on the vm or we can specify different hosts as well and the actual resource block have the features which we need to install and in this specific example we are trying to install ias and even we can add some of the windows feature like dotnet we want to install the dotnet and there are like key value pairs like ensure equal to present and name equal to some name and if uh, this is the settings which controls the installation and if we uh, make ensure equal to absent even if it is already there it will go ahead and uninstall the uh, extension now we will look at a demo on how exactly we are going to use dsc extension with powershell if you look at my powershell isc currently i have just created a vm using powershell and the vm's uh, creation state is successful now what i need to do to install a dsc extension is that first i need to zip the partial and i have to upload it somewhere currently i have just used a github sample but this script contours of website dot ps1 dot zip is the same uh, uh, dsc file which you have seen in this slide so i'll specify a public settings as the module url and i'll call the script of set az vm extension and extension name as dsc and i'll pass the right resource group name vm name and uh, since this is powershell extension i'll set the publisher as microsoft.powershell and extension type is dsc and the version and i'll pass on the url which has the right script and if i execute this one it will go ahead and create the extension and since this is a web server we will additionally create some of the web server rules for port 80 and 443 so that we can directly check the web server whether it's working i'll execute this code snippet and it will take some time to get it installed so now the installation has been completed so we will be able to access the web server now we will switch back to azure portal and we are able to see the vm information now i'll pick the public ip address of the vm and i'll try to access the link since we have already installed dsc configuration for ias server i'm able to see the ias page that's all in this lesson and see you in the next video
Thank you.